Alright boys, today is today. We're finally dropping off the boat into Suzuki. They're going to fix the issue with the motor. Like I said, it keeps cutting out. So I'll let you guys know what it is when they suss out the problem. We just rocked up to a boat ramp and I'm meeting Cody here. I don't know if you remember, but Cody is the bloke that we went out with um, the other day and he was on a separate tinny and they caught that 90 centimeter Trevally. So we're fishing with him today. And yeah, I don't know if he's here yet. We'll see if he's here. Oh, he's at the boat ramp. Fuck, I'm a bit late, man. I am 20 minutes late and he's waiting over there. But I'm getting my rods out, getting everything out. Hopefully we get him some fish today. Sorry I'm late, bro. I'm going to tie this. What's going on, brother? All good? Hey, mate. They just come back from fishing. Yeah, he's not fish Oh, that's Anyone back home, I just said to Cody, I'm like, I, show, I seen this bat right here, because we've got him in our boats. I seen this bat right here, yeah? And I said to Cody, what's that for? He's like, for the sharks. I said, do you eat gummy sharks and that? And he's like, what are you saying? Nah, hell no. They don't eat gummy sharks here. What the fuck's going on? Why not? Do you like the taste? Nah, I've never even tried it. Never tried Oh, really? Nah. Bro, you have to have gummy sharks. Have you had it in batter before? No. Nah. Yeah, he's never had it before. Well, you get the sharks when you fish shop up here, but... But depends what it is, bro. Like, we get, like, gummy sharks in Victoria, yeah? Like, I wouldn't eat Port Jackson and all that sort of shit. Just, just gummy sharks all in there. Just kicking back on the mud bank. Yeah, on my tide. We're in here now, man. So you reckon that lure is too big? Yeah, a little bit too big. You gotta run something like that. I promised my daughter Aria she loves fish. Yeah. If we catch any legal fish, yeah, can I take it and cook it? Oh. For dinner, man. It's ripping. What, the current? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. It'd be better when it slows down, but. Oh, don't film that. <laughs> I've just got to get the line in and then I'll be cheering. It's the way, man. So what are you doing now? You're finding which way we're going to, like, yeah. we're drifting, yeah? Yeah. So we're, we're going into the bank. Yeah, so we'll just... Going that side, okay. Well, it's a bit hard. Sometimes it's a bit better when wind and current are going the same way. Other times you just got to get really slow with the motor. Yeah. And then... Section. Right, so you turn off when you've got a good section and just yeah. work that area as quick as you can. Yeah. I could just sit here and just relax and just enjoy it right now. Like, I do need the electric motor. What a class, man. Electrics are too expensive, but... Well, they were roughly. Get him second. Is that second hand or brand no, new? Brand, brand new. Second hand. Yeah. So, what fish can you catch here? Uh, you get your bar, your jacks. Uh, if there's a cod, I'll catch it. So, the cods are they like black? Like, they're like their colors like brown and like fucking. Yeah. yeah? I caught one last time. Yeah, that thing that you caught last time. Our boys first cast. Oh fuck, I got a hit bro. Yeah, I reckon I did. That's so no bullshit. Yeah, yeah. The good thing about this boat, you can drive this thing in like that Everyone's telling me like kayaks are dangerous up here because of grass. Yeah, you don't do it in here, fresh water. What do you do? 
the salt water. Nah, only in fresh water. Yeah. So there's no fresh water crocs up here? Yeah, there is. And there's also salties in the fresh water, but you just got to know where to go. Okay. So basically, anywhere here on the bottom side of the uh, Great Dividing Range, yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, anything up above, like if you go up onto the tablelands, it's all good. But then once you go a couple of hours west, mm. then you get the salties. Oh, they come from the Gulf. Are they big? Yeah. Yeah. So in the spots that we fish out out west, where there is crocodiles, we've got to have a gun in the boat. Jesus. Guys, I'm going to put a photo up here that Cody sent me when he went up north of the croc laying across the bank. Yeah, use them. Why not? Okay, so you've had more success with hard bodies. Yeah. Okay. So, so like the thing that I learned, it's like your barrel will hang on the, or like on the ends of the snags, and then your jacks will sit hard up tight, right up against the bank. Like in shallow or like? Oh, just where there's heaps of cover. But your barrel, like they rise to feed, so they'll set her okay. head into the current. What's your best tasting fish that you've ever had? Up, like what you've caught? Uh, like up here, in the, like in the estuaries, um, it'd be like your grunter. Um, and then out of the reef, it'd be like your largemouth nanny guy, and your red emperor. But like barrel, like some people say barrel overrated. Um, you can. It just really depends on personal preference. Okay. I prefer grunner, but barra. Is What's really grunner? Is that what you caught in those photos you sent me? Yeah. Alright, uh, boys, so uh, Cody's going to show me how to work this prawn lure. Look at that cast, man. Egg beater, man. Yeah. So we let it sink and then just. So you let it sink and then you yeah. flick it like that? I like just like real. Imagine the Rogers. Alright uh, boys, so we're gonna make another move right now. We're gonna go to another inlet that Cody knows and try flick there. Mango Jack Barramundi. I wanna take something home for Aria to eat right now. I, mean, I love eating fish, she loves eating fish, so that's what we're gonna to try to do right now. Just gonna go with the flow and just, just make it happen, you know. If it doesn't happen today, it's gonna to happen tomorrow. Happen the next day, it is what it is. Look at these mangroves, the thick they are, man. Look at that, boys. So, one barrow did that. They're the best lures ever made. So, I just let you fellas know it's fucking hard to fish because the boat just moving so quickly when we stop. We're just getting pushed by the wind and the current just really quick. The motor's off, look how quick we're moving. This is like trawling fucking speed, man. There, <laughs> Cody's trolling. Cody said keep your eyes peeled because he's going to take us to where he's seen a couple of croc sightings in the, in the, when he comes out fishing. So hopefully this will be my first croc counter that we've seen. Hey, he's got me there. Alright fellas, we just made it back to the boat ramp. No luck. We did have, Cody had a couple of hits. Um, but that's fishing boys, you know what I mean? You don't get them every time, you know, and Cody catches fucking fish, so, you know, uh, it happens to the best of us, I suppose. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for him now, he's gonna get the car, hook up the tro hook up the boat. Um, but we're gonna go out again this week, we'll see where we're gonna go out. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I still need to take a fish home for the family, man. You know how it goes, Aria, Alex, they love fish, so. Right, so we're gonna try feed them again, see if they feed. So Normally come they come up here and they go crazy. They did it before. They come up and they started smashing it before. They might be, maybe. What is that? Just like pellets? Yeah. yeah if you start feeding them baby corn things, they get too used to it and they won't eat the pellets. Oh, really? We used to go down to the creek mm. and get the tiny little prawny things, whatever they are. And, and they, they just love them. Oh, they love them. them. Okay. We used to just put them in there. Can't. See if it eats. <laughs> There's one there, and then there's one there, you can see them. I don't think they're going to eat. They're full. Yeah, they're full. That thumb is my thumb. That thumb? Yeah. Jesus, look at it, man. Look at the belly on that. And we were panicking because back then we didn't have a proper camera phone or nothing, you know? How did you take that with like the old school like camera? I don't know, to be honest. I honestly don't know, but Stephen was panicking because it was 
was out of barra season and we were trying to he's dragging it on the boat to try and get a quick photo and he didn't even get the whole barra in <laughs> it's like uh, it's like his stomach did cody tell you yeah. the story oh yeah so yeah. in so like when he released it or like could we tow it around yeah uh, it kicked it took half the lip grips with it What's that, Doctor? Like the, you know the the grips. Oh that you yeah, grip yeah, the yeah, fish yeah. With, right? yeah. So, so the old it ones. took what was stuck to its mouth and left us with the handle, right? Oh my god! So six weeks later, we're washing, watching the fishing report, and Erskine is it? Yeah. Erskine's like. Oh no! Um, or someone. Oh, what's the one at Ormond Street? Can Logan? anyone tell me the story Lord. behind oh, this? Peter, and they it, had Peter the Benjamin? grips. I was on when well, they caught it with the grip in they its caught, mouth. It's like the professional fishermen that. Um, what is it? They, the netters. The netters yeah, caught that barra with in the their net with the grips and it was so skinny because it couldn't eat. Oh. So the grips and it's, yeah, they took it into the tackle world. They took the And they're hanging thing. up in tackle world for yeah. the grips. It's in the morning. We're getting the boat ready. It's hot. It's steamy. Now, because it's been raining, this is what we're targeting today and tomorrow. You already know what we're doing. We're gonna try to get some mud crabs. And we have someone special coming with us, boys. Wait a sec, I'm just getting this boat ready. It's a fucking mess in here. Check this out. Right, we've got everything that we need. What else do we need, huh? Fucking hanging today. We've got some plans for today, but I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you when we get out there. All right, sound up. Everything's ready, boys. Steamy. It's after it finishes raining here. Fuck, it gets hot, man. It gets really hot, boys. So they change this. It's fixed now. It doesn't stall at all. Yeah. You ready to catch a monster? Yeah, hopefully. So Alex has gone into IGA, so we're gonna get some chicken um, for these mud crabs. And I've got um, some some of that tarpon left over. I've got half the tarp on and a head. It's overcast today, there's not a breath of wind and it's already 24 degrees and it's only what? It's, what's the time? It's 7.40. Boats all set, we've got the crab pots in there, we're just waiting for Al. And there she is. What'd you get? Yeah, chicken, but I got a cheese and bacon roll and a boost. <laughs> yeah, I got the best. <laughs> Look at this chicken. Oh yeah guys, I even found the lure last time I went. Check that out. Fresh air. We're fucking late to the party. Everyone's launched already. I'm actually so excited. First time fishing in Cairns. It is your first time. This is I've gone fishing in Mackay, but not in Cairns. Fuck. Hold on, yes. strap on. We're in for a good one, boys. We're in for a good one, girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, See, the hardest thing is we don't know if we should let no. Rocco out to go roam. We scared of crocodiles, there's signs everywhere. There is crocs. I don't know if there's crocs here. There, sh there will be crocs It's been here. raining so much. Like, how do you not know that they're like really hungry? Because nothing's been around and out. Like, yeah, we don't know. We're gonna... Rocco looks like a good cheese and bacon roll this morning. Oh, and I got told that puppy is a good piece of candy. Yes. And the candy is gone. Rock. Starting to rain again. Rock, slow. I'm so excited right now. Why didn't I catch my first fish today too? It's a nice like boat over there. motor now you know how fucking good it runs really so what do you think it was it was the fuel you reckon the, the pump for the fuel all right rock in the boat so i'll put it here let him go let him Jesus, go i'm trying <laughs> right sounder on one two three puppy check 
So pretty much what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drive exactly to the same spot that Brendan and Logan got the Trevally from last time. We're gonna flick there for about an hour and then we're gonna put these crab pots out. Hopefully we can get something out. Fingers crossed. It's raining now, it's misty, and this is the sort of shit that gets you soaked. So it is what it is. How would you know if there's a croc sitting in here? Look how much they blend in, Al. Like, look at that. That's scary. Like, look how much they blend in. Oh, look at a birdie. Hello, buddy. Motor's running good, everything's fine. The owl crocs will sit in here, like sitting in these little inlets. Probably a mud skipper. Rock, don't do it. Rock, stay here. No, rock. Where? Rock in the water just there. Just rock underneath that. Where? Rock, rock. I swear to God, it's crazy. Rock, he just went underneath that branch right there. I swear on my life, I just saw these fucking eyes and feet go under. A croc? Yeah, rock feet. I swear on my life, would it be that big log? Which big log? There'd be a couple of like, blue. How big was he? Baby, Fuck it, look how dirty this water is. I'm shitting myself. Why? That was fucking scary, man. He looks right at me. There was two. One went off that bank and one went off. He's going in the middle so I can check my footage. Yeah, wait, I'm just gonna have a look. Maybe he'll come up. He won't come up. He went down straight away. We just gonna explore here, boys. Sick. Fuck, we're gonna be careful putting these mud. No, I didn't get it in. We're gonna be careful putting these crab pots there out, huh? two babies here. So, where's the mama then? Yeah, let's go. Turn the motor on. <laughs> Get me out of here. I swear to God, Luke. I swear on my life, I'm not exaggerating. There's two babies here. I still haven't seen them yet. That was, and still it was haven't weird. seen them. I swear to God, all I could see was the two eyes sticking out and it just went under. Here, like I'm actually trembling. That's how scary it was. And there, that was a baby. Imagine seeing a mama. Oh. Spewing, I missed that. How did you was it sitting on the bank or? No, one was on the bank and slid into the water, but I didn't know if it was a crocodile because I didn't get a good glimpse. All I saw was like a slither and a splash. But then as I looked, there was another one in the water, eyes out, looking directly at us and went straight under as soon as I connected eyes. Keep your eyes out, boys. Right in here where these mangroves are. There's probably one sitting in here. Let's go see if we can find one, eh? Oh, come down here. Let's just go for a crocodile hunt today, shall we? That's what we should do next. We're gonna hey, go. Hey, I saw the first croc. I oh, know. How the fuck did you see see a croc I before saw me? The first croc. Fucking he burning. Only little, like, his head was only like his eyes were like this far apart. So he was only tiny. Like he was little. I'm actually a bit scared now to put these pots out, man. Oh, shit. Water's rushing out, so the tide's rushing out now. We're gonna do basically we're gonna troll there, okay? So alright? Troll where? Just to here, and then we're gonna start flicking. I need to tell you boys, so I caught a mangrove jack on this floor the other day, but I didn't film it. I did film it for TikTok, so if you wanna go there and check it out on my TikTok, you're more than welcome to go there. Do you know how much easier it is to trawl when the fucking sound, when the motor doesn't stop? Oh. So we're gonna trawl until we hit that sand patch there, and then we're gonna flick lures around that. I've got a good feeling about this one today. This one? Why this one? I don't know, I've just got a, a gut feeling. So we're just saying to each other, it's fucking weird when you see a croc because we've been speaking about them so much but we haven't seen one yet. We speak about crocodiles probably every single day. But then when you look a crocodile in the eyes, and that's only a baby crocodile, yeah, it feels a bit different. It doesn't sit as well. They freaked us out a little bit, not gonna lie, yeah? I just got some bacon like a piece of candy Rocco is. <laughs> Rocco's looking pretty juicy right now. So we're near the sandbanks now, so we're gonna trawl up here. And then go from there. See, I'm starting to learn as well, the more you go to the edges here, the more deeper it gets. The more you come in, the more of there's more sandbanks around too. Really? Yeah. So as you can see now, like that lure's hitting the bottom for sure. It's only like 
500 mil deep here. You, you can see it's a bit dirty. The more we get closer to the edge, it starts dropping. Tell me when to expect a big one. Water's super dirty. I don't know if that contributes to not catching any fish. And we've had a lot of rain, so the fish I've heard the fish don't really like when we've had rain the day after. I don't know if that's a put down the comment section. Is it good to go fishing like as soon as it stops uh, like a massive downpour? If you can see, look how dirty, dirty the water is. It's like we're at fucking Lake Nilankuti here. And said we received over 40 mil worth of rain yesterday. The, first, the next thing that we're going to work out now is where we're going to put these four crab pots for tomorrow. I'm going to shit myself with these crab pots, you know that, yeah? Yeah, same. Like, I'm actually really nervous for them. You didn't see the eyeballs. No, nah, I didn't see the eyeballs. The eyeballs were looking. You're going to get, like I said, in, out, quick. That's going to be full on with Aria tomorrow. Yeah, because they were only little. So basically what the plan is now, we're going to stop trawling, we're going to put the rods in the boat, we're going to go for a drive, have a bit of an explore, try look, get to know the area, try see if we could find any crocs. Um, and then we're gonna, if we are driving and we're exploring and we see somewhere where we think, you know what, that looks like a good spot to put the mud, uh, the mud pots down, that's what we'll do. But in the meantime, we're just gonna catch a vibe and trawl, maybe we'll get a mangrove jack. Just take it all in, man. Keep your eyes peeled, boys, for these crocs. Hitting the bottom. Slowly making our way back. Where is it? How shallow is it? Ah, oh, fuck. How deep is it? Oh my god. Nothing. Rock, just stuck. <laughs> All right, we're out. Guys, we just seen a massive croc. I don't know if we should get the drone up. We've seen a crocodile, crocodile. Holy shit, man. He's... Big boy. Ah, okay, now he is big, man. Didn't you see him slide off the bank? Yeah, I seen him. I don't know, did you get that on camera? Yeah, I'm sure I did. Move away from him with rock. We just hit a croc for the first time. This is scary, man. Can't believe we just hit our first crocodile. Woo! They camouflage, man. They fucking blend oh, right in. They blend right in. If that guy didn't yell out then that there was a crocodile on that bank, I would not have saw him. I tell you right now. Yeah, some guy drove past. Like, there's a croc up there. We wouldn't have fucking they seen him. They out the boat taking a photo too, so... Mate, the next croc I see, I'll get the drone up and I'll fly it over to him. Because as soon as you get close, they slither in the water. Just throwing that rod in the trawl again. I just want to keep the rods in the water as long as we can. They look like that, the crocs. Like a log. <laughs> Basically. I can't believe we saw a croc loop. Did you expect that today? Nah, I didn't expect to see a croc today, man. No, 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 no. Now I've got my... I wasn't really looking, but you don't really... Now I'm just going to keep looking, yeah? They are everywhere out here, man. It's not a fucking game. Honestly, we've seen three this morning. How many saw us, but we didn't see them. Exactly right. All right, what are we gonna do with these bucket pots? I'm scared now to put anything, go next to these. Uh, scary I'm scared to go next to the banks now, man. Fuck that. Oh, look at that waterfall in there, Luke. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I told you boys that this fucking tarpon will come in handy. Beautiful tarpon head. Yeah, all right, we're gonna chuck her in the middle. So like Alex said, we're gonna get them ready. The pot's ready here, then we're gonna drive in these arms because- I just don't wanna sit in the middle now after seeing that big boy. It's a bit sketchy, it's a bit fucking sketchy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was scared after seeing the babies, let alone that big one. Got one ready. These midges are full on. Yeah, we're getting smashed by midges. I'm thinking about to that tree, what do you reckon, Al? Oh. Sticking it out of the water. I'm a nervous wreck. Even to here. How deep is it? Mm, I don't like this. This is scary. I reckon we just put it there like that. That's it. Head to that tree there. This way. I want to go there. This way. All right, turn it off. Turn it off, red button. 
Do you reckon that's high enough? We'll get that tomorrow, you reckon? Yeah, that's fine. All right, that's one in. We're gonna mark this sounder now. Right, we're gonna go down more, I think, in here. Put one more in here. What do you reckon, Al? Ends at the end. So you reckon we put one more in here? Sorry. A lot of snags. What is that? It's all trees in the water, my love. Oh, we're over it. Wow, this is insane here. Last one now, we'll get out of here. That's good. Alright. In there, that's a spot. Yeah, let's go and get it done because I'm getting there. Where's that fish? The mug crabs are going to love this one. This one's now ready. Smash and grab. Smash and grab, boys. I'm fucking sweating hard, man. Midges are crazy too. We're sweating out here. Alright, you might have to. You want me to do this one? Hold on. Just gotta get in here. It's very shallow, Luke. Maybe we tied to this tree here, Al. I think that's the best. Oh, look at all the baby crabs. Look at all the babies. I don't know if you can see them all running. But there is babies everywhere. So you can all those holes are crab holes? Yeah. I think we just drop it here. Fuck you. After seeing that croc, it's like, fuck, you know, they're really out here. Because, you know, we've spoken about crocs so much, but we've never seen one before. So now seeing one and looking at it and thinking, oh my God, around us everywhere. And as soon as he come off the bank and he went in the water, all you could see is his top of his head, and then couldn't see nothing, he vanished. Wouldn't even know he was there. I'll tie this one here. All right, two out, two to go. Should have done. Yeah. We should have marked it on the GPS where that croc was because they creature of habit, mate. They stay there. Do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon they would have. Like he comes back. Do you reckon that's his spot? Yeah. I'm trying not to move. I'm trying to be very slow. He's back. I don't know if you guys can see that right now. I'm trying to be as still as I can. Because Luke's just getting the drone up now. Rocco, I need you to sit. There's a massive crocodile on that bank right now. Can you I see that? There's a croc sitting on the bank here. I'm fucking freaking out. And Alex oh, is up telling me off. He's freaking out because he can't get the drone working. Isn't it? Oh, fuck off. Can, fuck you get it's like like just, can we just take this in right now? So we're going to get this drone up and see if we can see this croc. It's just sitting on the bank right now. Same croc. See? They come back. Creature has it. Creature has it, man. So we finally got the drone working and the drone is sitting on top of this crocodile now. The crocodile still hasn't moved, so we're now gonna move the boat. I'm stressing about Rocco. <laughs> so we've got our sights on him now, drones on him, so we'll be getting some good footage of him regardless, but we wanna try and make him move now. Um, so he hasn't moved at all at this point. Fuck, he's big, Luke. I don't feel comfortable. Luke? I don't feel comfortable. seen another one sitting on the bank that was probably about like two meters long. Fuck, they're everywhere here. That's where Alex saw the baby. Up there. Up there. He's on the bank. He's on the bank. Where? Up 
Where? A baby's on the bank. He's curled, he's curled up on the bank. Creatures of habit, man. You won't be able to, I have to show you where to go, Luke. Sorry, I'm sure that's him. I am 99% sure that he is on the bank right now. Trees, you can go down more if you wanted. That's a good piece of chicken, isn't it? All right, fellas, last crab pot going in. And we found a perfect little inlet by the looks of it. Nah, I can't, I'm just gonna put it here, look, right here. I reckon right here, what do you reckon? I reckon. One good luck flick, maybe to the mango joke. <laughs> Whoop! Uh, I think we just got it. Where is it? Okay. We're gonna come out tomorrow morning, flick lures. Let me check these crab pots. Fellas, it's the next day and we're at the servo now. We're gonna put fuel. I don't even know how much fucking fuel we got in this jerry can, so we're gonna have a look. There's still fuel in there. I'd just like to make sure it's full. I don't wanna risk it. What is it? A red beret. I oh, was a red paratroopers. Oh really? Yeah. You heard of the green berets in yeah. America? Yep, we're sort of like them. Oh really? Yeah. How long were you doing that for? Six years. How long ago? 76. Oh my jeez, whereabouts? In Australia or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I nice. in the SAS as well. SAS, nice. Yeah. No. Is that your bike? Yeah. You've got crutches on your bike at all? I've got a broken ankle. And you ride a motorbike, well done. That's it. Can I, can I ask you a favour then while you're there? Yeah. I just want to hold it up like a me label on me. Yeah, yeah, I'll just put fuel in and then I'll do it. Alright. How much fuel as you took yesterday? Four litres. Not bad, just a cheap day, this one, huh? I've got to help this bloke out really quick, boys. Help people out, man, that's what you have to do. It'll come back to you, you'll get good things come back, good karma. What do you want to do? It's on, the wrong. It's on this side. What'd you say? Fishing. Yes, Ari's coming fishing with us. <laughs> She's excited, <laughs> you're going to catch some good fish. Hopefully, anyway, hopefully Ari has a good luck charm and she can catch some mud crabs for us today. What's that? It's a what do they do? Snap, snap. I wonder how her reaction's gonna be when she sees her first crocodile. I hope that she doesn't see one. Really? Yeah. No, I wanted to see one. No, Alright, so yesterday we came out here and I want to show you guys how bad the midges are. Alex hey, just got quickly too. completely smashed. Happy Father's Day to Lou. Hey, look what Alex got me. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with this watch, man. Thank you, baby. Look, show me your show me your midgey bites. Look at these midges. They're everywhere. Like, yeah. So we just spoke to these guys now, and the and the and they actually said, I said, how'd you go? They go, oh, we got a, f a couple of small brim. And he but. said, but but <laughs> we've seen a lot of crocodiles, so they're still out today. Now the heat's coming out. The crocs are going to be sunbaking more. Yeah, the sun's out. I should say the, the crocs are going to be sunbaking more. Yeah, hopefully they're just sunbaking. Yeah. Yeah. At least Rocco's not here today. Yeah, we didn't bring Rocco today. We just figured it'd be easier, yeah, without Rock. Especially because like Ari hasn't done a lot of fishing. It's yeah. just going to be easier just to focus on her and yeah, take it as it comes. And we don't even know how she's going to be on the boat. So we're going to take it by ear. Hopefully we can pull up all the crab pots. Hopefully we can go for a little bit of a fish, but we don't know. If she gets over it, I'll just come in, come out tomorrow morning and um, grab the pots. Hopefully Alex can come tomorrow morning. Yeah. Just for an hour or something. Wow, wow, look at Aria. Wave to the job. camera. No crocodiles are here, no. Don't worry, we'll take you to where the big crocodiles are. No, we're going to stay safe, aren't we? You want to see the big crocodile? 
the must. My eyes are glued to these banks now. I know what I'm looking for. Fuck, Alex, you spot a crocodile swimming in the water. No, I just jumped in the water now. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Already we've just seen one. It's a small one, Ari. Gotta keep this boat moving. I'm a bit scared. Joking. So we just drove past that crab uh, the crab pot and it's obviously uh, the tide is just starting to come in now so we can see the crab pot fully and Alex reckons she's seen something moving in there. Any luck? Uh, yeah. Oh, How are you fellas? Any good? A few crocs around, huh? Yeah. Well, good luck, all right? The crocodile right in front, guys. I don't know if you can see. And he's down, huh? He's now open. There are in the water. Can you in the water? Live it in the water. Yeah. Uh, you're all good. I just seen a massive splash here. I don't know if it was. I think it was bait fish. Just be careful. Come to this in the boat a bit, huh? Get her away, pull her in. That's it. Just seen it, it would have been here now. Out of the four crab pots, there's got to be at least one that's got a crab that we can eat. Honestly, I'd be just grateful with just a crab. Like, even if it's not size and we're going to let it go, just something for Aria to experience. We're in the zone where we can catch some trevally or queen fish now, so. Come on. Hopefully, it happens for us. Love to hook up to a fish. Oh. I actually feel like fish for dinner too. Yeah, if we catch a fish tonight. I've got salad all ready to go. I'll do that. Yeah. Just fillet it, crumb it out. Oh. I would even put it in a wrap. Please. I want a popcorn chicken it. You know like popcorn chicken? I want a popcorn, not popcorn chicken. Mm. Is it hitting the bottom? No, it's hitting the bottom. Yeah, it's go, just sorry. Like, look, jump in there. What's that? Great fish. Look, 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 look. look. What's in the water? Good sign, boys. I'm gonna look behind us because these waves are coming in from behind. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> well, you're turning the boat, look, you're turning the boat. Good job, Ari. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of an indication on my last episode that I did. Um, it was the last time, two episodes ago, my cousin Brendan actually jumped in the water to get his GoPro. So if you want, when he dropped his GoPro in the water. Now we were, see where that sand patch is there? We are probably about 200 meters in front of that sand patch. And where the crocodile is, it's just on this corner here. So it's literally like, say 400 meters away. If that, 500 meters, if that, from that croc. So, just never know, yeah. just never know. Brian, you're lucky. So we've pulled the rods up. We're gonna go check these pot, uh, these crab pots right now, and we're gonna see if this this crocodile that I was just talking about um, is on his spot again. We're gonna drive past there because it's on the way to the crab pots. Yeah, there he's there. He's there again. Look. Jeez, that is so fucking scary, man. Oh, you see it, Ari? We'll go in, we'll go in and come out. You really gotta listen now, darling. Just stand in the middle, just sit in the middle, you'll be right. Do you wanna check this one or not? Yeah, just Ari, I need you to listen. No, you don't have to be scared. See the, see the crab pot? It's pretty clear, girl. There's a crab pot there. That's the pot. Do we check that one or you want to go get the first one? It's a bit Very shallow. shallow. Very shallow. Yeah. One of us has to look behind while the other one's bribing it, yeah? You gotta be, no, I wouldn't sit there, I'll follow you like that. Oh, it's empty. Oh, there's one in there. Look. Stay here, we're going to take it out of here and then we can open it up. Hold on. We've got to get out of here. What do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god. So we're going to get the pot so that we, we move out. It's very hard with three in here. Fuck it, as I was going to the crab pot, I fell over on the back of the boat and, the, and my hand slipped on the accelerator. 
lucky there are any mangroves and it just like nipped the front of the tree. <laughs> look at the chamois of bites already, Al. Yeah, look at that. So we don't know if it's a male or a female. Let's have a look. Look, Harry. Oh my goodness. It's only a baby. It's a baby one. Watch your toes, no, Aria. You're going to be very careful. Watch your toes. It's a female, I think. Hello. <laughs> Can you believe it, Ari? you got to watch your toes, okay? Hello. <laughs> Hello, baby, baby crab. Is it a female or male? Oh, it's a female. Little baby. It's a girl. Hey, girl. Shit, Luke. Little feisty. Wait for dad to say you can go. Oh. Can grab her. She's slimy. It is slimy. Oh, look. Hey. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Are you happy? I'm going to touch it here. Can you give Can it I a touch pat. It on the claw here. Where that is. I'll show you. Pat it here. Oh. Oh. Oh, we let it go. I think we let it go back to where its home is. I don't want to put it okay, over here. Okay, wait, so guys, it's a, watch out Ari for it. See, that's a female. See how it's so thick, the triangle? Little baby, so we're going to put her back. First, hey, first canned mud crab. You got your first mud crab, Ari. Are you happy? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go back in there and we're just game, plan, game planning which way is the best. How do we tackle this? Because we've got another crab pot that's further up in here. So Alex is just leathering up Aria. We're gonna let that um, mud crab go, that baby one, that female, where we got her from. So she's at her home at least. All right, get in, get out. Yeah, let's go. There it is there. Let's just stay at the front to oh, make it's sure. It's too far. There's nothing in it anyway. It's empty. It's empty. What do you want to do? Do I leave get it? Out of here. Shall I leave it? Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> I'll come back for that, you reckon? Yeah. Give that one more day. Full day and we'll come back for that one. Let's get out of here. We've got two more pots left. Fuck, that stinks, man, that tarp on. That's the tarp on in there, oh. Mm. Stinks. Look how close we are to the water here. It's crazy. Quickly tip it in. One, two, three. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. All right, let's go. <laughs> Before we get this crab pot, I think we scan the area to see oh. if there's any crocs and then we'll pick it up. They all seem to be along this edge, so I don't know if that's like you said. There's more brewery in here. I don't know. Just scan this area, it's there. Yeah, but... baby crab See that? Oh, there was a baby croc there. See that? The Holy sh... I didn't even see him. Baby. There was a baby yeah, croc. Uh oh, that's it. Oh yes, there's one in there. But small. Oh, Very oh, small. He is size. He, he'd be oh, he'd be just too small. Yeah, he's too small. Not big enough. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Come on. Bye. See ya. 
Yeah, all good. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go. That's it. Two small ones. But that's fishing, yeah? Yeah, we'll try. It is what it is. Our are hanging out in that team. We just seen something very weird in the water. I'm going to show you guys, but this is like so weird. I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe we got tail. How's it floating? Hey? It's obviously for a crop. Oh, look at that. 